What paranormal claim uh, has been the most difficult for you to uh, debunk and how did you approach it? Well, we don't, first of all, we don't debunk. We okay. investigate. If it ends up being debunking, that's okay. Now, the reason I make that difference is, uh, I think, a sound reason. Uh, if we say we're going in to debunk something, that implies, if doesn't directly state, that we think this is not true. I don't know. Now, certainly, if somebody says they can fly by flapping their arms, I go into that with a certain amount of prejudice, thinking that I don't think this is likely to be true. But if someone says they can, they believe they can read thoughts, or I have to say, well, maybe they do believe, and even the possibility is there that maybe they can really do it. So we, we, don't, we go in to investigate, but we don't go in to debunk. I don't want to have a preconceived notion already. This is not so, and I'm going to prove to you that it's not so. How did you approach the most difficult uh, claim you've investigated? Well, frankly, Joe, there haven't been any difficult claims. Uh, they're the same old thing. Uh, they've been changed in, in, in the last, maybe the last century. I haven't been around for a whole century yet. I'm working on it. But uh, for all the time that I've been investigating these things, I've, I've rather hoped, and, well, not, not earnestly hoped, but perhaps just I have a hint of a hope there that maybe somebody's going to come along with something that's really going to set me back on my heels and have me say, wow, what was that kind of thing. But none of it is surprising. It's the same old, what's the technical term for it? Crapiola. Yes. It's the same old nonsense. It really is. They haven't come up with anything new at all. Just the words are a little different, or the costume or the language is different. But if, for example, when I was going off to Korea, uh, South Korea, as you might imagine, uh, going off to Korea to do a series for them on TV, um, investigating paranormal claims, uh, they, they assured me, oh, they had, they had psychics in, in Korea that are just going to going to knock you out, Mr. Randy. Astonishing stuff that they can do, really astonishing. And uh, so one fellow asked me after an interview, he asked me after, he said, so what will you do if you, if you really have to pay out the money? I said, simple, we pay out the money. That is a deal that we've made with the public and we've declared ourselves. But he said, but we have psychics. Well, I thought, gee, I'm getting maybe a little worried now. Maybe they do have something there that I've never seen before. When I got there, I hadn't been there for more than 24 hours with my assistant. And I turned to her and I said, it's the same thing. It's just a different language. And during a break, they take kimchi instead of a hamburger or something. But that's the only difference. The costumes are different and the language is different. It's the same nonsense. And it was exactly. I could parallel it with every other test that we've done for the Million Dollar Challenge.